with the emergence of the coconut oil is pure poison article. Can you shed some light on saturated fat in the literature and the types of studies done specifically on coconut oil? It's a great question for 90 seconds. And go. I'm going to time it on here, too, just so I can keep you honest. Um, 85 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that whole coconut oil literature stuff is sort of ridiculous because I, I don't even want to get started on nutritional epidemiology. I've already alluded to it a bunch of times. I think it is the lowest form of human inference imaginable, which is not to say it provides zero benefit, but it's um, at the hazard ratios that these things typically come up coupled with the reliance on food frequency questionnaires, something I've even filled out myself just to prove how ridiculously mm -hmm. useless they are. Like ask me what I ate two days ago, not a chance. I'm going to be able to give you anything within an order of magnitude of reality. All that said, I actually think the case for saturated fat may be overstated, meaning I think that the view that saturated fat is never harmful and we should be able to ingest it <clears throat> at the tune of 90% of our calories, uh, I think we have to accept the reality that that, that can't be healthy for everyone. Um, certainly clinically, I don't see that to be the case. Uh, I know I've only got 24 seconds left. Um, so what I would say is rather than rely on some knucklehead study put out by some bottom feeding group of, you know, information providers, um, learn to understand what the biomarkers are that change as a result of it, both inflammatory, lipoprotein, lipid wise, time, go, done. 